Come along to the Council of Ministers' uh, offices, uh, talking with the Finance Minister, Eddie Tier. Today's the day. Finally get the news which broke uh, in the media this morning that the Isle of Man is now officially in the film business in the UK. Well, we've taken a share in Pinewood Shepparton PLC. That was announced to the Stock Exchange first thing this morning, as we have to do under Stock Exchange regulation, regulations. But um, we feel that this is a good deal because in terms of... Uh, the number of shares we've purchased, it's half the original shareholding that we anticipated, but we've got all the benefits. But why are you taking half the amount? Because uh, we didn't need to actually make the full investment to, to obtain all the, the benefits. Um, Peel Holdings made it quite clear that they wish to retain as many shares in Pinewood as possible. They feel it's a good investment. We feel it's a good investment. And also to if we had taken a bigger stake than 10%, it, w it would have had regulatory um, complications in that Peel would have had to sell extra shares into the marketplace, which was something that they weren't comfortable doing. I mean, you know this is going to play out. People are going to think, what's going on? I mean, you went for so much, now you're taking less. It, it all just gets more murky or even mucky to some people. It's not murky, it's not mucky, it's very positive and it's absolutely clear as well. Um, through negotiations uh, with the, between the Treasury team and uh, Peel and Pinewood, we feel we've got a very good deal and we have got all the benefits for half the cost and I don't think that can be bad. This is still a very Marmite deal though, isn't it? I mean, the people I've been talking to, the finances, MHKs, they either love it or they hate it. Well, somebody has to make a decision and uh, we've been through this in great depth and detail and we feel that the film industry had reached a, reached a crossroads and uh, one of the roads in that crossroads was a blind alley. Uh, it was quite clear that we weren't um, able to compete with the very generous subsidies payable by other countries, including the UK. So we had to regroup, we had to restructure, and by working with a major name such as Pinewood Shepparton, we feel that we are, we are embarking upon a, a new era for the film industry on the island. And it's already demonstrating benefits. We've had two major productions. There's one being filmed on the island at the moment, Bell. That's bringing a very significant local spend onto the island. And uh, we're working in partnership with Pinewood. P part of the filming will take place on the island and there will be facilities provided by Pinewood as well. Let's make this clear, that film Bell that's underway now would not be here if you didn't have this arrangement in place or at the time ready to go in place. Exactly. So we're already delivering positive benefits. And have you got any idea how many films a year will be pushed our way from this agreement? Well, it's not pushed our way. Um, we're not going to take films just because the films are there. We're going to take films that we think are right um, from a commercial point of view and uh, also from uh, a quality point of view as well. And one of the things that's become abundantly clear since the deal was originally announced or the potential deal was announced is that we're getting good quality scripts coming through and uh, we're getting more choice of scripts too. So that improves the commercial attractiveness of the arrangement as well. Is this high risk? No, it's not high risk. Where is it? Um, life is a risk. From the very moment we draw our first breath, okay. life is a risk. Between 1 and 10, how much of a risk is this? I, I don't regard this as high risk. I regard this as a commercial decision which has been um, entered into and I feel that we've had a look at uh, the downside and I'm very comfortable that from that point of view. Just give me a number. It's, it's, it, it is a low risk. A low risk? I think it's a low risk because didn't, uh, when it came to the Timberwolf debate, I made it clear that we had a look at the accounts of Pinewood and I went through three years accounts and a large part of the uh, share price of Pinewood or the price we're paying for the shares is accounted for by bricks and mortar assets. So uh, there's something tangible there to support the government's investment. So you're happy? I'm happy. I wouldn't have signed it if I had <laughs>